it's a common goal for many. We just want to be happy, right? And my next guest believes it's important that we are. In fact, research finds that happy people are more successful in both professional and personal pursuits. So life coach Tiffany Peterson is sharing how we can cultivate more joy into our lives. Welcome, Tiffany. My friend. I love the word joy. Like it just mm -hmm. sounds like what it should be and sounds like what we want to feel. Joy, more joy. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good one? I mean, we just come home to that and we think, ah, oh, everyone, like you said, humans were wired to say, I want more happiness. I want more joy. What I love about this conversation today is the reminder that we are intentional creators and that sometimes in the busyness of life and st struggles and challenges and all the various things, it's like we can expand our happiness. We can focus on it. We can choose into it to say, let's intentionally create more of that. And I generally refer to the benefits, but tick us through what you see on the ground with the clients you work with. People who are happier are? More successful, healthier, more, of course, like vibrant, more likely to get promoted, more likely mm -hmm. to be invited or referred business to. Years ago, I got introduced to a book called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acor. And he's a Harvard professor. I don't know if he's still there, but the research comes out of Harvard in this class he would teach again and again and again, The Happiness Advantage which then turned into a book. And what the research was looking at is this direct correlation that happier people are more successful. Mm. Now, that same equation doesn't necessarily prove out the other direction, that successful people are happier. But when you think about it, when people are happier, they're more joyful to be around. Yeah. You want to spend time around them. You want to be included. And they're easier, again, to promote. And likelihood, of course, the brain-body connection is yes. they're healthier. I was going to say, I don't know that there's research to support this per se, and it certainly speaks to the softer side of the, the benefit list. But I think of how it would impact your relationships, how it would impact your oh, connections, yeah. how you feel about yourself impacts how you treat others. So it's not just this empty, you know, vain pursuit to feel a mm -hmm. certain way, but there's a ripple effect is what I'm hearing you say. A thousand percent. And what you're saying is that you know, basic math, I'm a fan of basic math, and basic math is when you feel better, you show up better, is exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And so when we're taking time to say, I'm gonna invest in my joy, I'm gonna be a happier person, that's great for your partnership, that's great for your coworkers, that's great for your kids. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think, oh, if I'm taking time to invest in my joy, it's not selfish. Actually, I think it's the exact opposite. I think it's quite spiritual, because when you show up as your happier, more thriving self, mm -hmm. People and your ripple effect, like you were saying, they're going to get a better you and you're just going to be in a different space because well you're said. in that spot. Well said. All right. We're familiar with the to-do list. Mm -hmm. Today you want us to write a joy list. Mm -hmm. I love this one to coach and live myself is I invite you to create a joy list. Come up with 24 things, 12 things that cost money, 12 things that don't. So there's a mix there, right? Because sometimes it's the simplest, littlest things that bring us joy. Right now, like loving the spring weather and being out on a lots of walks, that's on my joy list. I was thinking take off, taking off my shoes and yes. like squishing the toes in our new grass. Yes. Simple. Or putting on snuggly sweats, right? Yeah. When you just said that. But coming up with 12 things that cost money, 12 things that don't, okay. but they bring you joy. Years ago, one of my very first life coaches said, I want you to create a happy list is what he called it. I just call it a joy list. And I had like four things on the list because it was like uh, travel, shopping, eating out, and I had fresh flowers on my list. And this, to me at the time, Brooke, was like a big stretch. Today, it's not because self-care is such a common conversation. Uh -huh. But my coach said to me, Tiff, I want you to buy yourself flowers. And I was like, you can do that? <laughs> so like regular at Trader Joe's, but whatever yeah. brings you joy, mani-pedi, playing some golf, taking a hot soak, reading for fun, gardening, the various things that infuse your joy, be more intentional. But I love creating the list so you can see it and then you get to navigate off of it. Next, you want us to snack on joy. And science journalist Richard Seema has a phrase for those little moments of del delight and experience mm -hmm. that we feel throughout the day. He calls them joy snacks. He says, <laughs> by mindfully tuning into the pleasant, nice, and sometimes routine experiences of every day, we can transform an otherwise mundane moment into something more meaningful and even joyful. Mm -hmm. Explain this idea more in depth for us. How can we mm -hmm. snack on joy? Well, listen, I love snacks, okay? <laughs> like, we, we're good I, friends for I, lots of reasons. Me and snacks are besties. <laughs> if we're ever gonna go on a road trip, I'm gonna handle, I'm great with the snacks. We're gonna be good. <laughs> but I love his work on this, is it's the little things. Because sometimes when we think, it's like, I'm either happy or I'm not, that's not real. Most often life is kind of a mix. 
Yeah. But we want to move more on the towards the end of the spectrum of more joy, more happiness. Right. So we snack on it. Right. That could be including things where it's like we're taking a moment to pause or do a meditation or a gratitude journal or singing a, a, a hymn or a praise song or something that lifts you. Mm -hmm. It's just these little things where we sprinkle more of those joy snacks, as he calls them, into our daily living. More aliveness in our living isn't, I think that's really what yes. we're after. Yes, gratitude and joy, you believe, go hand in hand. Oh yeah, they're sisters, right? And isn't it, there's quotes all of various versions that go around the internet that say something like, it is that the grateful person that's happy, mm -hmm. right? And that gratitude invites happiness because all it's doing is it cleanses the lens a bit to say, even with all the stuff I'm navigating, look at what is great. Look at what is good in my life. I woke up today, right? The tulips are out and the sun has returned and we're like praise and gratitude. But just looking for those things naturally is a way that we're intentional mm -hmm. to expand that happiness. The concept that what we focus on expands, that's what we're just simply talking about here. And that leads to your final thought in the last minute we have together is that joy does expand and so we should share it. We should be yeah. giving it away, throwing it around like Kim Fetty if we can. There you go. I just adore you, <laughs> right? But seriously, <laughs> sharing it and... And thinking about that, and, and for me, one of my favorite ways to practice this is to speak kind words into other people, mm -hmm. from the stranger at the you know grocery store to your sweetheart, to your kids, to your friends, coworkers, is like appreciation, yeah. thankfulness, and, and sharing that together is that no one outgrows the need to feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, mm -hmm. it's like the gift that's hard to give away, so to speak, because yeah. you give it and then in the same breath, you're experiencing it. You get it. Well, yeah. you've given that gift to us today through your words and your wisdom, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Where can people hear more from you? My home website is tiffanyspeaks.com or Instagram is Tiff Peterson. You bring a light, sister. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing. We appreciate you.